Remember, you're not just on a stage. In fact, most of the audience will be viewing you because of the cameras that are capturing how smart, innovative, and impactful your team and your projects are. When you're on stage, there will be cameras set up in the audience to record you. Let me help you learn where to focus and move to make the most of those cameras. No matter what size the stage is or the room you might be speaking in, before you get to that stage, I want you to remember that there are people in front of you, to the right of you, in front of you, and to the left of you, in front of you. And so your job is to keep them and the camera engaged. Think in terms of these basic movements and focus options, okay? Start by looking straight forward to the people in the center of the room. Let's call this position number one. Then after about 15 or 30 seconds, shift your focus to the people in front of you on the right side and stay there for about 15 to 30 seconds. Let's call this position number two. Now when you're looking towards the right, the people can still see you in front and on the left. As you're only partially moving your body in that right direction. Then move to focus on the people on the other side, on the left side of the room for about 15 to 30 seconds. Let's call that position three. Then move back to the people who are in the center of the room and focus on them. So when you come back, let's call that position number four. So as you present, you will just simply go through the focus points in turn over and over until you're done speaking. And you can mix up the movement from one to two. Sometimes you'll go right, sometimes you'll go left. And that keeps people guessing a little bit. So it's just, I'm looking forward for a while. I'm engaged looking at the people over there. I'm engaged looking over the people over there. And I'm spending 15 to 30 seconds at each spot. And then I come back to my fourth position. If you're in a small room, these movements may only be a partial body or a head turn. One, two, three, four. If you have a big stage, which we will have for the finals at the World's Cup, you can choose to take a step or two left and right, and especially if you're on a handheld mic. The good news is that there will already be cameras positioned in the back center of the auditorium, and likely the back side on the left and the back side on the right. So when you're focusing on two and three, those cameras will pick you up perfectly without you having to think at all about where those cameras actually are. So that part's easy. And the audience watching online or on video will get a more intimate, engaging experience. Now, there may also be handheld or roving cameras that are close to the stage. So my advice is to pay no attention to them. If the camera comes right up close to you, it's okay to glance into the lens, just as you would capture an individual eyes of someone in the audience. But don't look uncomfortably long. A quick look is all right. It engages your online audience, but your job is to direct your energy and focus out to the live audience in attendance. That means you also need to engage your body. Your hands just can't be down at your side all the time. Your head can't stay in one position forever. We wanna see that your whole body comes together to showcase your words and sounds and emotions. The greatest speakers look comfortable on stage, not because they're standing still. You have to feel energy from your toes to the highest piece of hair on your head. You see me demonstrating that now. I'm not just moving my arms. My arms are connected to my chest and my shoulders and head and all of the parts of my body are moving in a way that physically mirrors the sounds coming out of my mouth. It's, it's almost impossible to get an audience excited if you're motionless. Practice joining your body sections like this. Instead of moving just my arm, I move my upper body with my arm. Instead of moving my other arm, I move my head along with it. 
This is what I mean by having your voice connected to your full body. You can't just move one body part at a time. When you do more of this full body movement, you'll look so much better on stage and in the eyes of the camera lens. When you're on stage, there's gonna be lights on you. Get used to it quickly. It's not about what you can see, it's how the audience best sees you. Never squint or place your hand over your eyes to shield all that light coming towards you. Know that lights, cameras, and your action is all important to delivering your compelling story of progress and impact.